Okay, well, right now I am going to take everybody back to the basics and go through a couple of uh, basic condiments and my regular bread recipe. I'm going to start with the bread. <clears throat> I've been making bread since I think I was about seven or eight years old and it was the first thing that I ever learned how to cook. Um, but nobody ever has time to do this and so I like to use my bread machine. What I like to do is put it through the dough cycle, which is what you use for rolls and for pasta and things like that, and then take it out before the second rise, put it into a pan, rise it for the second time in the oven, and then bake it up. This way you don't have an oddly shaped bread and you don't have that big old hole in the bottom. So, you want to start out with two tablespoons or two pads of softened butter. Okay. One egg and one yolk, very lightly beaten. teaspoon of, sugar, uh, of salt or a half a teaspoon of sea salt or pink salt. One tablespoon of sugar. I like to use cane sugar. You want three quarters of a cup of milk warmed to 115 degrees. I would say exact no higher than 120 and no lower than 115. Use a thermometer. I like to heat up in the microwave, heat it up for 30 seconds, stir it up, heat another 30 seconds, stir it up, you're good to go. But always check the temperature first to make sure, otherwise it'll kill your yeast. Now, you put all of those ingredients in except for the yeast right away, and then you want to do a layer of flour. The reason you want to do this is because you don't want the yeast to touch the salt until everything else is well incorporated. So put all of your liquid ingredients down in the bottom along with your salt and your sugar. I use two and a half cups of, or two and a quarter cups of flour, excuse me. And for every two cups of flour, <clears throat> I like to use a tablespoon of gluten. This makes the bread more pliable. It also adds a little extra protein. I layer the gluten and the flour to kind of help it mix up. It just comes out more evenly that way. One more tablespoon of gluten. I don't bother adding more anymore for the extra quarter of a cup. These two tablespoons are plenty. Last quarter of a cup. Always level it out. When it comes to baking, you need to be exact. When it comes to cooking, eh, baking have to be exact. Okay. Now, you can want in here for a sec. You will see. You want to get the flour a little bit even. Use your cup and even it out, but don't push it or anything because you've got the liquid down there. You want to get your yeast a teaspoon and a half. And despite the instructions on your bread machine, you want to put the yeast around the outside because the middle will mix in first. And like I said, you don't want that yeast to go down in there until everything else is incorporated. Okay. Get your lid down. Get yourself plugged in. Now here it says the dough setting is 7, so you just change this till you get a 7, and then you hit start. What's going to happen is that it's going to mix slow for a couple of minutes, basically in order to get those other ingredients down on the bottom mixed up, and then it's going to start to circulate a little faster. It's going to circulate intermittently for most bread machines to kind of let the dough rest and then mix and then rest and mix, and then it's going to rise it for you for an hour. Once it's done rising for an hour, it will beep, pull it out, and then we're going to shape it up and put it into the oven to rise for another hour. And that is
is my bread recipe. And you're clear. Okay, so the bread machine has gone through its hour and a half cycle. Now you want to make sure that your hands are coated in a little bit of flour after you've washed them. Let your dough. You just need that on your hands. Usually you get the little paddle stuck in there, so make sure you pull that out. And then, instead of your kneading five to ten times, you're simply going to shape it into your bread while it's still warm. Pinch it together on the bottom here, so that you get a little bit of a smoother bottom on your bread. And then just give it a couple of pats, let it stretch down a little bit so it fits into your bread pan. Okay. And then you got your grease pan. You set your dough on top there. Make sure that it's nice and centered. Okay. Now we're going to take it into the oven. You put your oven on warm and leave the light on. It'll be just warm enough for it to rise. You want to put a dry cloth on it. Don't use wet or it'll stick to your dough. So a nice, clean, dry cloth on top. Put inside your oven. Turn it off. You don't want it too warm. Set a timer for 60 minutes maximum to rise your bread. And then you let it rise for one hour. 